hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we cover the lab that is classify images with tensorflow first of all click on start lab and open cloud console in incognito window now in my case it's signing in automatically if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instruction now click on i understand click on i agree and then select agree and continue now here we have to create workbench in vertex ei section so on the search box you can type workbench type workbench or just navigate via vertex ei that will be more easier for us to understand as it is step by step video so now click on it now wait for the page to fully load now click on enable all apis so now here on task number 1 we have to create a vertex ai workbench named cnn challenge and the region is different for me it will be different for you too so make sure to check it out now copy the name now here go to workbench now wait for the page to fully load meanwhile if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel so now here click on create new now here replace the name and make sure to check the region and zone zone i mean so here it's zone finally it's done make sure to check if there any other modification is needed so there is no just click on create and wait for the vertex ai workbench to get created after that we will move forward to the next step so click on refresh and now wait for this workbench to get ready take 2 to 4 minutes depending on the lab so just keep hitting refresh i have forwarded the steps i mean the time now finally it's ready now we have to click on open jupiter lab now it will also take some time it make open fast in your case so wait for it here it's not necessary but if we enable this api so click on enable and you will be redirected to the home page of the google cloud click on enable api and then we will move forward to the jupiter lab and here we have to click on terminal so now first hit check my progress for task number 1 so here we have to copy this notebook so now copy the notebook and wait for the notebook to download finally it's done now hit check my progress you will get the score without any issue so finally this is also done now we have to delete the notebook now click on this upload button and so from, now from the my telegram channel wait i will show you you have to download this file that is dravishek.ipnyb so as you can see this is my channel this is the main channel i will share the file in the telegram channel i mean and you will have to download and upload the way i have shown in this video so wait for this now we will open this file and for kernel status if it's not showing just select tensorflow 2.11 so in case it shows different just go to the lab instruction and check now here we have to first of all wait the kernel status wider and then we will run all setup so first of all now we have to make sure the kernel status is this as per lab instruction now click on run button and then we have to restart the kernel before proceeding to next steps so this lab is little bit time consuming but don't worry you will get full score without any issue and i will tell you why you will not get full score in such some cases so finally wait for the kernel to restart you have to press the play button and pause button as you can see there is triangle shaped button for running shell you have to click and i will share one more method how you can Uh, run all shells at a time so now kernel started kernel is being restarted wait for the status to get idle and as you can see it's idle now now we have to set the project id so you don't have to make any other changes just 
wait for some time and then we will hit the again the play button so finally it's time to hit play button and finally our project id has been updated so you don't have to export it manually and for bucket you have to check the bucket but here one thing you have to update that is the region so for region refer to the lab instruction that's why i am saying to follow each and every steps i am saying because if you miss you won't get full score and as it is a time consuming lab it will your efforts will be wasted so wait for it now finally as you can see it's starting so here our project id has been set now you have to select this shell that is wait a moment let me see so from here just click on run run all selected cell and below you have to select below not above so click on it now wait for this kernel status to get idle then we'll be done with the lab so this lab is little bit lengthy so keep the video running till you get full score otherwise if your kernel gets down and laptops got on sleep then you will face some error and you won't be able to get full score want you can view the custom job by clicking on the highlighted link mentioned here or you can wait just keep the video running and like the video and subscribe to the channel Now wait for the shells to complete. Meanwhile, for task number one, we have to enable the APIs. So if it is not enabled automatically, you have to go to the task number one, copy the APIs name as you mentioned on the lab instruction, and paste on the cloud shell. I hope you know how to activate the cloud shell. For activating the cloud shell, you have to click on the cloud shell button. Just present from the question. just left to question mark and you have to activate it and just enter these apis and it will be enabled you will get full score and you will be done with the lab guys
Finally, as you can see, the kernel status is now idle. Now we will get full score without any issue. But I will tell you how you won't get score for task number 1. That is 5 out of 5. So let's wait. Meanwhile, in case you haven't liked the video, like it and do subscribe the channel. So this lab will basically take 30 to 40 minutes, even more depending on the time consuming. So now wait. Finally, the kernel status is idle. Now we will get full score. Let's see. And in case you are unable to get full score on task number one, that is enabling the API, you can refer to the lab instruction, copy the code and 